Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Megan Burt, and today I want to show you some amazing glass and stainless steel alternatives to plastic. So plastics, they're easy. Let's just be real, let's just be honest. It's easy to tote plastic around. And we've been so used to using plastic for everything, for our water bottles, for our food storage, for wherever around the house we need something, we just throw it in a plastic container. Well, I wanted to let you guys know that it is so easy to replace your plastic with glass, or like I said, a stainless steel alternative. That way, you have a healthier and safer option. Plastic contains a lot of hormone disruptors and a lot of toxins that can interfere not only with our body's hormones, but with our cell signaling and can also cause us to put on a little extra weight because of all of those toxins. So because of that, and because it's a lot safer for our families in general, I wanted to show you some of my favorite alternatives to using plastic around the house. So first off, storage. These glass storage little containers come in all sizes. So they've got plastic covers, which make it easy to get a you know seal on them and they come in all sizes. So this is the smaller ones that we have, this is the medium size, we even have much, much bigger ones. Plus, we've got nine by 13 pans, um, the square eight by eight pans, you can literally do everything in them, baking, heating things up, um, and just plain storage. And they store wonderfully in the fridge and you can use them in the freezer if you have to. The second one, mason jars. We are a mason jar using family and this one even has a little handle so you can really use it as a cup and they do come with the regular mason jar tops but I love to pick up the plastic ones because they're easy to throw in the dishwasher. They don't seal quite as well as the metal ones but they're great because then you can store things in your fridge and they're just way easier to clean. You don't have to replace the tops with them. Moving on to beverages. So glass bottles have gotten amazing. They are, a lot of them, just like this Life Factory one, is covered in this silicone shell. So you can see videos on their website of them just throwing the bottle and it landing and it's, it doesn't break. They also have these in sippy cups for kids and baby bottles too. So that's a wonderful alternative. There's also just plain glass ones. And to be honest, they are very, very, um, they're very strong. They're, they're not as breakable as you think they are. Then here's one of my glass warm beverage containers. So you definitely, if you're gonna use plastic, don't use it for hot items. I see still all the time at different coffee shops, coffee mugs, you know, travel mugs, and they're plastic inside. And you definitely don't want hot going in plastic because then you're just gonna leach out those chemicals a lot quicker. So this is a glass one. This one, I haven't broken it. I've had it for a couple years, but it is more fragile. The one that I use the most often is my stainless steel hydro flask. This can be used for water and other beverages that need to be kept cold. It'll stay cold in here for 24 hours. It'll keep hot things hot for 12 hours. So if you want to you know, put some hot beverage and drink it in a few hours, this will keep it warm. It works great for broth too. It almost works too well. It almost stays too warm and it's hard to drink it. So sometimes I have to keep the lid off and just let the steam rise for a few minutes. Moving on to just cleaning and storage. This is a glass bottle for um, cleaning. You can make your own essential oil cleaners with this. It's amazing. And when you're done, you can, you know, you want to make something else or use a different scent, you can put this in the dishwasher too and it cleans amazingly. And then just, I'm using an old Ningxia Red bottle, but you can use any of your old olive oil bottles or apple cider vinegar bottles. And this can just be used for storage around the house too. You can, on an old apple cider vinegar bottle, you just get one of these spray tops and they'll fit right on and it works amazing. So that's just a little clever trick if you need to with that. If you are going to store things in plastic, because I do have some plastic around the house, I use it only for my dry goods. Usually I use mason jars, but we have a really big tubs that we put our coconut flour and our almond flour in and it will not leach being in plastic with dry goods. It's wet that you're gonna to have to worry about things like liquids and especially 
things that are warm. So hopefully you guys can transition out of some of your plastic things and storage around the house and choose glass. Plus these things last nearly forever. So I think that they have a longer shelf life than the plastic too, so it's completely worth the investment.